Okay. So here we have the probes. And here we have the book that's uh, practically useless. Um, when I say practically, I mean, you know, almost literally useless. This far into the book, look how uh, far, into the, far into the book, and, uh, and this guy is just how important is language and how understanding language. Uh, the importance of, of being uh, precise. Um, some simple ways to think about fractions and then you know it's just uh, an inventor would you like to be an inventor and then he has the whole book on a, a whole page on and here's a contact phone number um, all right so patents aren't that difficult so I don't know ways you get losing focus on why you would buy his tool and that was to enjoy and get right down the troubleshooting um, and you know he keeps putting pictures of these girls and these guys and whatever it may be inside his books um, they're just you can pause it if you want to see what some of this stuff says but it doesn't get you anywhere um, technically it just beats you up about um, being a pro in this field um, means knowing you're smart. You know, stuff like this. I mean, what, what, what's going on here? Um, it's just crazy. Don't use slang. Um, let me zoom in here for a second. Don't use slang. Um, if, you, uh, if you mean voltage, let me read it to you and hold the camera at the same time. Um, say voltage. There is no such thing as juice and electricity. Women's, women uh, shouldn't be called girls and vaults shouldn't be called juice. <laughs> women shouldn't be called girls. Okay, so he sounds like he got some problems. Um, the importance of understanding language, that was that one. And let's just jump through something. Here we go. Just, just flip open the book further down. Voltage is electrical pressure. And then there we go, we've got uh, what he, um, this is just stupid. And the resistance makes currents go slow or stop. I mean, it's biography stuff. It's not, look at this. Uh, this is just crazy. You know, this is not troubleshooting and helping you troubleshoot a guy. And this is just him granting and getting sidetracked and, and all the other crap. Um... You know, nobody wants to know, everyone knows 2 plus 2 is 2, 4, you know? No one needs to know that, why did they start using math? The Chinese, uh, you know, who gives a shoot about that? So, uh, and then this is his best drawing. This is his best drawing, it looks like a little toy battery. He's saying all this stuff about technical stuff, then he uses toy batteries and toy symbols and, you know, um, potential, look, it doesn't, you know, you got, uh, yeah, I'm looking at this here. No plus and negative here, so you wouldn't know what they're doing on this test. Is this a tester? Is that the battery? It looks like it's a tester. Um, he couldn't even draw a picture of his own stuff, but he can draw pictures of girls in detail. And guys, this is just sketches. Here we go. Just jump starting charger. Just junk. I, I, you know, it's just, it's just not worth the aggravation. It's all one page if you see that. There's one page here and then you flip it, there's a blank page there. The blank half on the other side of it. Um, diagnosing circuits. Um, I don't know if that's an equal sign. Is that equal? Repair wires. They're different. Uh, is that an equal? Di diagnose circuits. Repair wires. They're different, whatever the hell that means. Equal, uh, to really good electrical diagnosis, you need to stop trying to think of circuits and wires as the same thing. Oh my gosh, look. That much into his, uh, his rank. He's now talking about diagnosing circuits now and that you need to think of them differently. Don't forget your ass, I mean his acronyms. Um,
Wow. There's nothing there. Oh my gosh, pause to rethink what? Oh my gosh. Well, here we go. Let's see what we got here. Let's see if we got something worth worth uh, using. Okay, I'm about done with this. These damn leaves don't work, is what I was saying in a, another video I was creating. So these leads are not your typical leads. See that rubber around it? Appears they need a, a special tester. Because mostly all the testers I've run across, electrical testers, that these things could tie into, have leads like this with the metal. This is not his lead, this is one of my other leads. So, this thing, this thing does not work with a standard, typical electrical tester. You still need, it looks like, invest in electrical tester. So, I don't think much of his uh, Load Pro. Number 180 operating manual. I'm not impressed. Okay, I found a section here where he says of choosing a meter um, where he says that they're all the same basically which uh, they're just just all the same I found but they're all going to do the same thing so it's basically use a cheap meter it's just as good as an expensive meter um, but his leads don't work in the uh, in the generic cheap meter the Harbor Freight meter I've gotten a more expensive meter but uh, I've got tons of the free Harbor Freight meters um, and those leads don't work, I'll show you. Okay, so we start off with the meter and ohms. We just grab the uh, leads and we touch them. And then we have our reading right there. Time zero. We pop these leads out and pop his in. Let me pause this. So here we go, we popped his leads in. I'm touching the two leads together. That's his with the threaded connection right here and we got nothing pressing down got to, took my word for it but pressing down touching again I've got nothing it it, it uh yeah either it's broken either this little steel of his is broken and I've pressed the button that doesn't do a thing um, pressing the button and touching the two leads together it won't change your reading, it won't give you a reading um, so there you have it I don't have time to be playing around wondering if I got the leads in proper am I getting real reading or not that's not going to be a, a fun task for me again uh, he's got these boots on, these, these rubber black red things on there, I have no idea why they're there because it's typical uh, leads which I have other testers, but I don't care to grab the other tester because it said it can work with a typical tester. It just has the, the metal connection.